close your eyes and watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. In other words, don't jump around coming to the breath and then going away and then coming back and going away. Try to stay with it all the way through, because it's when you stay with something all the way through that you see the whole story. It's like watching a movie. If you watch just every five minutes one little clip, it's really hard to put things together, because sometimes the really important things happened in the gaps. Just like when people say they know, when they understand a foreign language, they say, I understand 90% of what's being said. Well, how do you know? Because maybe that 10% totally changes the other 90%. So you want to be with the breath all the way through so you can see the whole story. When the mind moves, why does it move? And what stages are there in the moving? Can you see that? And what tricks do you have to keep the mind with the breath? You learn a lot about the mind in this, in this process, but really being serious about staying here. It's not a matter of just kind of floating around, being aware of whatever the mind happens to land on. When you learn how to focus the breath on one thing and keep it there, you learn an awful lot about all the other voices in the mind. And you have to learn how to sidestep the unskillful ones and how to strengthen the skillful ones, all of which is really useful knowledge. There's a lot of insight that comes right there. I was reading something where someone was saying that if you change the breath or you move the mind, you've lost an opportunity for insight, because insight comes only when you're totally passive and totally receptive. Well, that's not true. You don't learn anything by just sitting around being receptive. People with frontal lobotomies would know everything then. You learn things by acting and then seeing what the results are, and then getting better and better at getting good, better results. That's what the real knowledge is. That's what the real insight consists of. So try to stay here and then see what you learn about the mind in the course of really getting it to stay here. That's when you learn the kind of knowledge that gives you control over the mind and puts an end to the mind's tendency to create suffering for itself, even when things are going well, to say nothing when things are going in a difficult way. Many times things can be going perfectly well. The weather's great, everything is nice, but we're miserable. The question is, why is that? Well, you learn about the mind as you try to give it a task to do like this. So keep it with this task as consistently as you can. 